you know, Affinity really looked to see if adding pertuzumab to chemotherapy and trastuzumab was going to improve disease-free and overall survival. And the data that we saw, saw suggested that adding pertuzumab did statistically significantly improve disease-free survival, but that difference was small. And so I think what we've seen is that the benefit of pertuzumab really is in patients who have node positive disease and hormone receptor negative disease. And I think when we look at the additional toxicity of giving pertuzumab, it's actually very small. You know, the only real difference in between the two arms was a higher rate of diarrhea in the pertuzumab patients. And, and there really wasn't any difference in cardiac toxicity with the addition of pertuzumab. I think the thing we're struggling with is the financial implications of the addition of pertuzumab because, you know, it, it is expensive to add a year of pertuzumab. It costs an extra hundred thousand dollars per patient, and so you know you really want to be choosing correctly, and particularly when the absolute difference was only 1.7 percent at four years. And so again, I think this is something we're continuing to, to figure out, but I think it makes sense to add pertuzumab in our node positive hormone receptor negative patients.